My man, Willie Moe Jr. is in the Red Velvet Cake studio. Welcome home. And he got a new book, Happily Ever All. After. Happily After All. Oh, Happily After All. Yes, okay, sir. Got a typo on my sheet here. Oh, <laughs> yeah. My notes are wrong, too. Man, Happily After All. Most people think it's Happily Ever After, but it's Happily After All we go through. Ups and downs, victories, triumphs, and uh, losses, too. And uh, we lost a lot. Praise God. <laughs> okay, so, so so what's your what, what's your testimony on, on uh, why are you an expert now on relationships? You know what? I've been married for 11 years, and, and honestly, I don't claim to be an expert. It's just some things that we've done that, that worked. Of course, we went through infidelity in our relationship. We went through financial trials in our relationship. I talk about it in the book. Um, I wasn't a part of that, you know, whole joint account ministry that people want to have. Like, I had my money. She had her money. But then after I lost everything, she actually had to pay my child support, and I had to join that ministry time and it's nothing i'm proud of but that's what i had to do so there was no such thing as yours hers and ours and and when you lost everything it, it all became ours yeah it was kind of forced Sil, but yeah. we had to get to that uh <laughs> situation and i had to learn how to trust like i was adopted i never met my mother or father and mm-hmm. so because of that i had trust issues and so allowing a woman to be all in my space i wasn't really used to that but you know the lord has a way of breaking you down saying you know what you're gonna have to do it the right way and ever since i started doing it the right way we've been gradually growing thus being here on the time join the morning show because we do everything together and what was hey, the... I got uh, ooh, ooh, no, go Sibyl, ahead, let me just please let me ask this because you know I posted a quote of his. I actually posted him saying it on my Instagram account uh, when he found out where his mom was, and she sent word back that she didn't want to meet you with. Yeah. Tell us about that moment, and how long did it take you to get over that moment? You know what? The truth is, Arsenio, that's an amazing question. When my mama told me that she did not want to meet me, at first I did not even want to start this journey. But my wife, I love her to life. She asked me to do it. Um, and I didn't want to see her mad. I hate to see her leave. Love to see her walk away. And I, <laughs> right? I, I didn't, I didn't want to do it. But when, when I got there, like, I did not know how to feel. Because as men, we're only taught two reactions, how to be happy and how to be tough. And so now here's this feeling of sadness, mad, glad. Like, it's crazy. And so what I had to do is, is honestly, like, I prayed about it. And I, to be quite honest Arsenio I was pissed but then I realized that I couldn't keep living my life in this pissed moment I had to play it forward and so now I have this book helping relationships in hopes that we can reverse engineer so when I tell people in 2018 adoption is an option then you know prayerfully this this book has helped relationships so much that they say you know what I will adopt I will do foster care most people let their pain just sit in them my pain is my passion and it's turning into my profit man so we go into the next level with it I'm not waddling with it I'm helping 108,000 kids who are in foster care right now who don't have a voice now that I have this big voice I get a chance to to, to let people know it's kids out there who need help and so read this book get this relationship together so I can put these kids in your house hey <laughs> man who is Pretty Willie? You know what? Pretty Willie used to be me. Um, <laughs> the kids took all the pretty. No, they didn't. Um, I'm just holding on to handsome, Sybil. No, I'm just holding on. Praise God. Pretty. Our yeah. listeners can tell who he's sitting with this morning. <laughs> <laughs> Good Looking stuff. Looking at his pretty face. No, no, that's when I was on Universal. I had a song called Lay Your Body Down, Four Walls. So I'm this R&B guy traveling the country. I'm like a strong a- C-list. R&B artist, uh, <laughs> ma- ma- but I'm making a few dollars, Tom. That's funny. Uh, and, and to be quite honest, we were in L.A., Arsenio, and we just mm-hmm. drinking and smoking, having way too much fun. And one day I just said, hey, man, we need to go to church. <laughs> they, was like, they was like, go to church? Are you crazy? I was like, man, we, when I say let's go to the VIP, you go. We start going to church. And I honestly got more than I bargained for. Developed a relationship with God that was purely authentic and, and nothing that was super religious. And I just started preaching my message. Honestly, after I opened up for DJ Quick in L.A., I would say, man, mm-hmm. you know what? I'm starting this new relationship with God. You want to be a part of it. And people would meet me in the middle of the club like, hey, man, let me get on that. Right? It was good. Hey, Willie. Okay. Oh, can I? Go ahead, Arsene. Okay. Willie, do people from your past ever remind you about it and try to pull you back in? Man, everybody got a past, Arsenio. We just don't got to be prisoner to it. I unlocked it by being great in other areas. So you, so with a syndicated radio show, thank God to, for Reach. With a show on BET every Sunday, thank God for that. And now we have this book, like, Success Leaves Clues. And I'm just saying the way that I became successful was through Jesus Christ. So you can bring up the past, but I'm not a prisoner to it. Ooh. Reach. Yeah. Preach. The book Johnny is called Happily Willie. Ever After. Happily, a- I'm sorry, Happily After All. Yeah. Happily After All. And, we are um, killing that title. We are, just say it, say it one time right. 
Happilyafterallbook.com. <laughs> Happilyafterallbook.com. If you're tired of trying in your relationship before you quit, get this book. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Good more, Junior. Thank hey, you so thank much. Thank you, guys.